Nevertheless, let's get into it, Mickey. You got some big news. Big news. I mean, people probably are assuming, but I'm going to let it be known. I want you to let it be known. You put out that picture with Devin Haney. Now, talk to me. What's that all about? I mean, it's, 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 uh, are we it's back, back in action? Home. Are you back home? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we about to turn it up. He's back home, we ladies and to... gentlemen. He's back home. Yeah, right. we... So how did this happen? Explain. Come on. Don't leave anything out. Um, you know, um, it's one of the things where we always, you know, we like family anywhere. I'm, you know, close damn near with his whole family. Not, you know, not even including him. And, you know, so that's just one of them things that, you know, we pretty much figured, you know, we'd come back together anyway. Like it was never like no falling out or nothing bad regardless. You know, I was just doing some other things in life at the time and was supposed to come back, fight a little bit. You know, which I still might, but you know, I know Devin is uh, that's my top priority. Um, so I just um, you know, it was just one of them things. Almost like, damn, we both just collided. It, it kind of came together to where, like, man, we gotta let's get it back going. What we, what, you know, let's do what we supposed to be doing. Um, you know, we all just work together so so good at the chemistry and the relationship and the it just flow perfect so it's almost like a, a why not type thing like I mean and and honestly I don't think nobody could train him better than me just you know outside of me and his dad I'm saying man him work together well like you know he got the pieces and the the business and the you know keeping dad head where it need to be and all of that the pieces that it, you know, we kind of, we both just work together good as far as with Devin. But with Devin, man, I, he just somebody that um I know how to bring his ability out to the fullest extent. Like, my expectation with him is super high. And that help, you know, it's kind of like um no different than when you see, you know, like a, a, a like a maybe like Reynoso with Canelo, you know, or you know to name just to name, you know what I mean. Like it's like with Dad, I know how he's supposed to look, what he's supposed to do. Like the pieces that I can add, I know. Like okay, it's that cherry on top. When we when we come back and fight again, people are gonna be like, damn, you know this man. Like he look good, you know, and and that's accredited to Devin and what he can already do. I just know how to bring it out of him and help bring it up and bring it to the max because, you know, my expectations are so high because I really know what he can really do that I got the bar set high for him and, and it helped and it, and it helps just bring his level up, you know, because, Basically, basically, in so many words, man, I just know how to bring that best out of him because I know what he already got in him and I could extract it and pull it out. World to where everybody say, oh, man, like, damn, that's, you know, Dad looking great. So, Mick, take a couple steps back. Was it that, like, uh, Dev called you, Bill called you, let's, yo, pull up to the gym? Um, did you guys just bump into the gym how did it happen like tell the people well we always in con you know we pretty much in, always in con so like, oh, let's, let's get regardless. to the gym and let's get to work type thing was it was it a phone call um yeah sort of kind of like you know it was kind of like we both kind of just like man you know how one of them things that where when you know somebody, it's almost like a laugh. Like, man, look, let's let's do this. Like one of them type things. Like, you know, you know, come on out. You know, let's let's pick up where we left off. Like, you oh, know, you guys, but, um, you, you guys called the somebody called somebody. Who called who? 
<laughs> I mean, it was one of them things where we always talk. We talk regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it probably we, wasn't really do the co the conversation probably hasn't yeah. needed to do. I just wanted to know who. It was more who. like the conversation came together where it made sense. Like, look, why not? Like, let's, you know, I'm I'm kind of back in trainer mode right now too. And I was right, at David, the time for a few with David for a few years. Yeah, I got my little uh, future champion. So it's like, okay. You got that hat back on. Let's just get together. You know, you're already feel, in the uh, gym. You're already focused. Uh, they see you are focused. It's it's hard. It's hard for Bill to go and you know have you know put these people on, in the team, knowing that hey, are you committed to fighting as a fighter, or are you in there for for Dev type deal? You know what I mean? And, and well, no, he knows. Or you could he, do them both. Yes, I he mean, feel already understood. No, he already understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's more of a personal goal, you know, and Wiz, you know, Wiz speak on that once people, you know, a lot of young guys don't really know, but like, you know, um, it's just a personal goal of mine to win a few fights and just see what I could do. You know, you, you, heard, you hear, you know, what you hear about how, you know, what I could still do uh, talent wise, but no, but Devin is, um, I heard some shit. That's my first day. priority. What you say? I heard some shit the other day. Yeah, I was, so I just want to display it. I to was the, like, "Wow, Mickey!" I want to Mickey display it to the it. world. I want to display it to the world. Who is like, "Damn, man, this dude, a forty-year-old, get on nasty, right?" And it it'll probably, you know, I'm sure it'll motivate my fighters too. But I still know to take the back seat and do, you know, like. I know that to work around what we got to do, you know, Deb is, is got some huge things coming. So my priority is, is, you know, to get them together. But yeah, no, me and Bill just like, man, you know, we work together, you know, real well. And um, we understand each other. We both understand what, what we want out of Deb. And, and, and we both even um, grew even more since we was together so this time is we're gonna have a ball but it's gonna be real nice though like mm. Deb, hey it's gonna be nice i'm gonna just tell you that so is this like a personal goal for you to become be part of a team to build a, a world champion again because you know obviously uh devin doesn't have the title anymore and you uh becoming world champion in the same time is that like a goal to be able to be you know, have a team, yes. that, you know, make make one and then also become one again. Yeah, that's, you know, it's a goal. It's not a, you know, yeah, that's a, a, a kind of a personal goal. But, um, you know, mainly to get Dev, you know, get him right. You know, me, myself, to stay physically fit, to be able to keep up with him. Because that's a, a, a task, too, that people don't talk about, like, you know, to make sure that. Dev don't have to slow down to me ever. Like, you know, whatever he need, I can give him physically, mentally. Any any hat I need to wear, you know, I can give it to him. Um, my eyes is open to, to, you know, see what I need to see. And um, just extract everything. Just extract all of his talent out and, and, and put it, you know, it's, it's, it's fairly easy to be honest with for me, what I know, and to take a, a, a specimen like him, it's like me playing a video game for real. Like, you giving me an Xbox controller. <laughs> and because I know him so well, like, I, I, I know we click like this, too, because you got to think when, when Bill first brought him out, he brought him with Big Floyd, which is my trainer, too. So I knew Devin and him since he was a baby, shit, seven, eight years old. And he had that luxury which his pops was, was smart. Like, man, you know what? Let me put him with senior. Uh, uh, hey, imagine, imagine getting senior right out of the gate as a, as a seven, eight year old, you got to go <laughs> at seven, eight years old. So, you know, um, but by me being under Floyd as well, I got all of the teachings and I know, you know, what he's supposed to be doing and how it's supposed to look, how it's supposed to be done correctly. A lot of people from the outside try to mimic, you know, Floyd Sr. and Roger, but it's different 
is is way different, man. Um, them dudes, you know, seniors are genius, are artists, and a genius, man. And um, with us together, and um, you know, me and his dad got our heads together, and we got a great plan to make this like go through the roof. It's gonna be beautiful. You know, you're in a you're in a unique situation, Mick. I gotta say. You know, um, being, you know, 40 years old and still wanting to become a champion, knowing that, hey, you see Tevin Farmer, he's that was the guy that you were supposed to fight not too long ago. And yeah. now he got an opportunity yeah. to be fighting William Cepeda, the number one contender. Right. Um, and, you know, we got this big fight with, you know, you had you have Lamont Roach and, and, and uh uh, Jamel Herring as well. You know, Jamel Herring and you would be an, an awesome fight. Um, but yeah, that's something I, yeah, that'd be a nice little, you know, get back you, fight. But how do you, like, do you, you eventually got to press go on the fight champions, Mickey Bay, at this moment of time, right now, no? Or, or yeah, are you nah, gonna hold I mean, back? I make my plans. Hold back for I make my plans after his is made. You know that's all right. I look at it like this. You know how back in the day it was fighters that even today some not the top fighters, but it was fighters that worked jobs and fought. To mm -hmm. me, Devin, that's my occupation. Like that's my job. Basically, how I look at it. Other than that, I can go around that. So I wait to see what we what I got to do with him first. I was then, wondering, you know, no different than when when Roger, when Big Floyd got locked up, training Lil Floyd. Mm -hmm. So Roger was at the end of his career when he was training Mayweather. Honestly, that made me, it honestly made me better as a trainer because I see stuff because I'm still kind of in the ring. I got even sharper since I was with him before. I got way better and remembered a lot of things and and. You know, uh, I got even sharper just from me being in there a little bit. It kind of made me even sharper for him.